has arrived and is almost over. But as we have been told and should always remember the true significance of what this day, these days symbolizes that of self-examination, the leavening our lives from sin, and feeding on the Savior must continue throughout our natural lives if we truly desire to remain on the path of eternal life. So in my message, I want to encourage us to focus on an area that we can consider improving in the SPS of my sermonette or the title is being our brother's keeper. The word brother in Hebrew is A-H meaning family, kindred, kinsman, brethren, etc. It reflects relationships and in regards to us, it's a relationship that is based on genuine love and that which expresses itself in deep, genuine concern for each other. One of the reasons why some in the Corinthians congregation were being disciplined was not only for a lack or for not showing proper reverence and respect for this most sacred ceremony they were supposed to be observing, but also for not expressing loving consideration for the other members. Such is indicated when we read 1 Corinthians 7, 11, sorry, 17-34. And so one of the admonition to them was to show love and concern for, the, for their brothers and sisters. Verses 32, 33, sorry, 34 says, Therefore, brethren, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. And if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, lest you come together for judgment. So, brethren, we see how very serious and important it is to our Creator that we express genuine love and concern for one another. And especially when we congregate and present ourselves before him on his very special appointed times. For it is because of his love and concern for us why his son came to rescue us from the power of death so that we now have the privilege to be celebrating the hope of eternal life. And so, brethren, I want to show some of the things we can do to help us become more effective in being our brother's keeper. I have divided them into three points. Point one, strive to always be alert to when an opportunity to serve presents itself to us and not be so taken up with the cares of life that we fail to be about our Father's business and be the people that we were meant to be, a people zealous for good works. We should strive to emulate the so-called Good Samaritan who may have been on his journey, very busy, 
to attend to some urgent matter. But through love and concern and compassion for a wounded and helpless man, he rather stop and give assistance, considering a human life more greater value than whatever else he was on his way to do. And through that example, our Savior says, we should follow what he has done. So, brethren, as we have the opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those of the household of faith. And that is in Galatians 6.10. Point two is once it does not violate the laws of our Creator, and we are able to, we should render service or systems in accordance to what the person's needs are. This requires empathy in considering how we would want to be treated if we were in their situation. Matthew 7 and verses 12. Therefore, whatever you want men do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Not many truly grasp or appreciate the real significance of this statement especially in a world that is built and designed to facilitate the inherent self-centered tendency of better for me and lesser for others. But we, brethren, must fight against and overcome such carnal mindedness, for it is in total opposition to the mind of the spirit of love, that which we are called to develop, which at times require denying ourselves in order to go the extra mile to assist someone in need, as again is recorded about the Good Samaritan. Or it can be us denying ourselves concerning what we say or do that which can affect someone or cause them to stumble and sin as it says in Romans 14 verses 21 which is another aspect to being our brother's keeper when we are sensitive to show concern for their spiritual well-being. Also included in this is our concern to pray when someone needs our prayer. And point three is making sure that whatever we do, that it is according to the scriptures and based on genuine love, as it is stated in 1 Corinthians 16, that all that you do be done with love. And in regards to the love we should show for each other, John 15, 12 says, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. And again in 1 John, we are admonished as to this depth of love that we 
are expected to express for one another. 1 John 3 verse 16 By this we know love. He, our Savior, laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. So what are these verses saying to us, brethren? That if we truly want to be considered as a friend of our Savior, then it is required that we obey or do all and everything He commands us. Which also include the laying down of our lives for one another. And though many of us are already involved in such self-sacrificial service to others, and we too also have received similar service as well, scripture admonishes that we are to strive always improve upon these areas for we have been called to become great or complete as our Heavenly Father through the genuine and wholehearted service we render to Him and to each other. So let's consider the great honor and privilege that we have been granted to do so. As we continue to remember the words of our eternal Savior and Sovereign Master, that whatever we do for the least of his brothers, his brethren, we are automatically doing for him. So, as it is now customary at this time to take up an offering, I will now turn to Deuteronomy 16, verses 16. Three times in a year shall all your males appear before the Lord your God in the place which he shall choose in the feast of unleavened bread and in the feast of weeks and in the feast of tabernacles and they shall not appear before the Lord empty handed each man shall give as he is able according to the blessing of the Lord thy God which he has given him given thee, sorry and while that is being done we have offertory music entitled for Alice and will be played on the keyboard by Alejandro Marens. <laughs> 